Hi, welcome to another video and welcome to another disused railway walk. So we're in my now home county of Derbyshire and we're going to be having a walk on the former Great Central Railway between Staveley and uh, Arkwright. So back in the spring I did a video of the previous section from, uh, from the Rennishaw Central Station and I finished it here. So this is the bridge at the northern throat of what used to be the, the Staveley Town or Staveley Central Station it was, as it was known. So this bridge goes over the old uh, Barrow Will to, um, to Clown Line. Obviously disused now as you can see, got that old little cute bridge at the side. Um, we've got the, the disused Chesterfield Canal just behind us here, so there would have been a bridge going over that at one time as well. So we've got a bit of an information board here that's uh, just like everything else that gets put up has been vandalised. Um, yeah, just some, some snaps of the station and that. It's not very easy to see though, it's quite, it's quite a bit of damage on that on that board. So what are we going to do today? My plan is to start from here, um, just go and have a look at what's on the site of the now Stavely station, um, one of the Stavely stations that is, uh, and then just follow the old track bed that's now um, part of the Trans Pennine Trail all the way down to Arkwright where the, uh, the Lancashire, Derbyshire and East Coast Railway crosses, uh, crosses the Great Central and there's a bit of a junction there to see and we're going to go and have a look as well just at the site of, uh, of the old Arkwright town station um, that's on that LD and ECR. So we're just going to have a scout, see what's left and just have a look at some of the things en route. So again we're still on the approach to the old Staveley town or Staveley central station depending on which era you want wanting to discuss. Um, and I've come off the main path just um, into the area where the line would have would have come through. Now you're going to see uh, in a short while the the site of the station it's it's no longer anything to do with railways it's actually a road now so we'll go and have a look at that in a moment but yeah i'm just having a walk through here just to see if i can spot anything that's uh might give us any clues because we're standing around where there would have been railway things it was quite a quite a vast setup here we had good shed sidings um quite a lot of quite a lot of track work so i can hear the traffic on on that side and that's the new link road to the m1 I suppose it's a bit of a bypass, um, you could say, for Stavely. And up until recently, the, the old station and the tracks were still in place. Well, I say recently, recently in terms of uh, railway history. I think about 1988, the tracks were pulled up. So I'm just trying to stick to the route of the old line as much as possible. Um, I've got the main path over there, I can see. I don't know if we can get to that from here. Um, but just a little bit of background on that station. So it opened in 1892 as Staveley Town. Um, and it carried that name all the way up to 1950, even though there was another station, uh, just 100 yards away, not even that, um, that carried the same name. Uh, but in 1950, it was renamed Staveley Central. Now, the station shut in 1963, so it didn't carry the Staveley Central name for that long, really. So you'll have to forgive the sunshine. So we're right on the spot now where the station was. They made this nice little accessible path. We're about to go under the road. So this bridge, this is a new bridge. This wasn't the original bridge. The original bridge had, uh, had the booking office on top. But we're gonna go up onto the bridge and just have a look at the site and have a look what we can see today. So here's the view from the road above uh, of the former station site. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's now that road I was telling you about. And here's that same view in the 1980s. So the station's looking a little bit sorry for itself there. So as you can see from this old map, it was quite an extensive station setup. And here's the view looking south from that same bridge. And here we are crossing the road uh, that used to be the track bed. So we're still on the route, the old, the old line, um, but we're just coming up now. It's fire station on the right-hand side. Is where the um, the Great Central Railway Chesterfield loop went off to the right there, straight through where that fire station is now. 
but that's for another day. I've got some plans to go and have a look at some of the things that's left on that line all the way into Chesterfield town centre. So I'll try and get that done at some stage this autumn or winter. But that main road leaves us now and um, we're back on the old track bed. So on the old embankment now, so we're going to go up past Pullsborough Country Park in Incasol and eventually coming out at uh, the Duckminton Junction and the bridge over the line at Arkwright. I'm no stranger to this section, I've ran down here many many times. Um, I do love running on the old railway lines and it's still not too far away from where I used to live uh, up until earlier this summer. So, but I've never kind of walked down here and kind of taken in the surroundings so I'm interested to see what we'll find. So as we're leaving Stable it's probably a good time to pull up that map from Rail Map Online. I think I showed this when I, I did the last section just um, about what Stable looks like. It just looks like a big tangled mess of spaghetti. All the works and industries and all the collieries um, scattered along this line. There were so many, there was so much railway stuff in Stavely um, and not a lot of it remains. Um, just got the line just to the north of the town from Barrow Hill, the old road. That's the only one that remains so far. There was the, the Midland line that went down to uh, towards Clown and Oxcroft and, uh, and Bolsover. And that, that was only recently lifted and I've got plans to go up and have a look at that in the next few weeks. ballast on the sides of the banking. If you realise you're either going to be looking at me squinting into the sun or looking directly into the sun. It's another one of those low sun days. Um, the road going underneath and we've got Stavely Miners Welfare on the right hand side there as well. That's a path going off to Poolsbrook Country Park down there. So again that's another country park that's repurposed from, uh, from colliery land. I think that was the island colliery. these old bits of stonework scattered about the side of the track so far. I'm assuming they'd be from a bridge. Just randomly placed every uh, 50 yards or so. Bit of a slow burner this so far. Not really seen much of uh, much of interest. Gone over a few bridges. That's about it since Stavely. But um, I think the majority of what I want to see is down that end closer to uh, closer to Arkwright gonna have a look around the, the, the old junction at Duckminton um, bit of a triangle we've got a couple of junctions uh, we'll see what we can find down there in the uh, in the bushes but well, the, the coats back on now good old good old British uh, good old British autumn time I've had a shower sun's gone in and it's uh, quite overcast and breezy now Incasol Green. Got a lot of benches along uh, along this stretch. Some of them uh, like the repurposed old telegraph poles. So stick around, don't go anywhere. It might not be the most interesting Disuse Railway walk. Um, not every section of Disuse Railway is going to have old viaducts, semaphore signals, and whatnot. Worst case scenario, it's just a nice, pleasant walk in the country down a Disuse Railway. But we've got some nice views. Um, 
from this section probably too far away for you to see it on the camera but we've got Bolsover Castle there but we're just coming up towards the first of uh, the junctions up to the Dunkmanson Junction so a bit of a kind of a triangular setup that went off to the, the LD and ECR um, we've got just coming up to Duckmanton North Junction now. So it was, I've seen it described online as a lavish junction. It was constructed way above the means which it actually ended up serving. It actually served very, very few traffic. And uh, we've got flyovers and all sorts. And we'll see the uh, the remains of some of the bridge abutments and things as we get closer towards Arkwright. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a look. See if we can see anything down the old um, connecting lines down to the LD and ECR. See if there's anything of interest down there. So what we've got on the right hand side of the track here, scrambling my way over. Quite a what was this then? I can't see anything on on the maps for this. It looks like a recess for a signal box or something. Lots of brickwork something not down here or maybe just a plate layers hot I don't know if anyone knows some old sleepers down there as well a box of Hamlet cigars doesn't usually fit with a stereotypical little out, does it? Special brew and Hamlet cigars. So interesting, what I have noticed is we've got the, the typical blue brick that we see all along the Great Central lines. Um, we've also got a lot of red brick here as well, so maybe that's a more of a more recent construction. I've been having a, a look around some of the bricks. There's no markings or, or company names or anything like that on them. Wow, nothing for two miles then. All of a sudden, we've got all this infrastructure just around the site of the junction. This is just about 20 yards up from what was, I'm assuming was the signal box. So I'm assuming that's the bottom of an old semaphore signal. Watch my head. The old things there, the signal, signal cables. So that's the kind of thing we're looking for. And look, look at all this uh, old concrete as well over here. Just wrestled my way through the undergrowth from uh, Duckman to North Junction. So I'm now on that line from the junction going down towards the LD and ECR. So we've got a little bit more debris piled with concrete. Just having a look around for anything else. So this is the trap bed. You'd never believe it. It's so overgrown. Let's see where this path takes us. But yeah, so the line's going off straight in that direction where that line of trees is. Yeah, we're not gonna be getting down there, are we? So this side of the line, according to Wikipedia, which uh, I know is not the greatest source sometimes, but this part of the line um, was active up until the 1970s. And it was, I think it was the most recent serving of, um, of the branches off this section of the line down towards Duckmanton East Junction now on the east side of this triangle um, where it just just before it loops curves onto the LD and ECR now LD and ECR we've seen that line before Lancashire Derbyshire and East Coast um, and it's not the same line that one we looked at in previous videos was the Baton branch this isn't the Baton branch so this is um, this is the, the branch to Chesterfield I think it came off at it came off at Shire Shirebrook, I think. 
I might be wrong with that, but we're just uh, I'm just seeing Britwick here, and I think we're we're meeting up with the east. Um, sorry, with the north side curve of the junction. So the blue brick there. So I think this is uh, just a bridge, I assume, going over the farm track. So this is the uh, this is the line I was just trying to walk on a couple of minutes ago. Um, yeah, it's just as overgrown at this end as it is where we uh, where we failed to get through before. So interestingly, we had the, the brickwork on, on the left-hand side of the path, but nothing on the right-hand side. So I'm having a scout around the south, um, the south side of that, that triangle, Duckmanton Junction. I've not made it up onto the, uh, the banking for the flyover, um, but I have um, managed to, uh, to scrabble my way through the woods. Can't really see, really, but... This is the banking for uh, what would have been southbound trains going onto the Great Central Line, and there's a couple of bits, a couple of bits of uh, masonry and brickwork scattered around here. So, again, I'm just being kind of thwarted by, yeah, it's like a jungle. But never mind. I've been struggling to find stuff to show you, really. Although you can make out where the lines are and the bankings are, there's nothing. There's nothing really interesting or worthwhile pointing a camera at. I can see some kind of instalment there. I can't get any closer though. So we're just coming up to Duckmanton South Junction now. So you can see it's opened out quite considerably. Quite a wide uh, section this. Um, and I can see the, the bridge supports on both sides here. So what we had at the south side of the junction, um, we actually had a flyover for the trains that would have been coming over this way. So it would be the northbound trains that would use that then, wouldn't it? Because the, the southbound trains just went across the other side. Then anyway, we'll crack on down the, the main Great Central line down towards Arkwright Town and the the, uh, the road bridge. So we're just coming up to the road bridge. So this is what would have been uh, Duckmanton South Junction. You can't even tell, it's so overgrown, you can't even tell where that flyover line joined us. I've been having a look, but, but uh, no, no evidence. Well, there wasn't actually a station uh, here. The station for Arkwright, Arkwright Town, was actually on that LDECR, which crossed, um, crossed, uh, I think it was crossed underneath this line, just the other side of the bridge, just the other side, is now the Arkwright Colliery. So here's that bridge. So that's the main Chesterfield to Bolsover Road going over there. But we're just coming up to uh, the limit of where you can walk down the old route of the track. Um, we're we're kind of forced to veer off to the left hand side now. It's been uh, overtaken by industry, farming, and uh, from what I can see from Google Maps, there's not 
much definition left where the old line was. But like I say, we've got that LDECR that that crossed the Great Central Line here, and uh, I don't know what's left of that LDECR. Interestingly, to the right, to my right, we've got what was the Duckminton Tunnel. Now, uh, I want to go and have a look at that on another day. I need to do a bit more digging on uh, how we get there. But just to the left, on the LDECR, we had Artwright Colliery and that Artwright Town station which is gone now it's uh, I understand open cast mining's kind of removed a lot of the a lot of the surface and uh, the uh, the root of the lines kind of a bit patchy now so that line's Chesterfield cut through straight through where this factory is now and that factory is a fairly recent or well, very recent um, addition but we have got a We've got an old bridge here. So we'll try not to get run over. It's, uh, it's a 90 mile an hour limit on this road. So we'll tread carefully. It's very old. It's been infilled. I wasn't expecting that. Look down there, that's the, that's the track bed. The LD ECR. So here's another old map, this time of the Arkwright Town Station, or the site of. Um, I've just put an arrow there of that rusty bridge that we've just been stood in front of that's now infilled. So I've just come down off the road where that bridge is. There is a path just down, just down the road a little bit. Uh, and we're standing on the site now of what used to be the Arkwright Town Station. So this was on the line from um, the LDECR. Balsover straight in front there and uh, Chesterfield behind us. So um, opened in 1897 uh, and it closed in, uh, in 1963 I understand but there's nothing here there's absolutely no it's not even any obvious evidence of any track bed to be honest never mind the station. Though obviously I should probably point out this area has been quite quite severely impacted by the open cast mining. Um, it was right next door, at right colliery there as well. But here's that old bridge from the other side. All being infilled now, standing on top of that. Truck bed going that way. But anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you and well done. I appreciate it's not jam-packed with uh, with interesting things today but it's a journey it's uh, you've joined me on an explore and we don't always know what we're gonna find sometimes you, you find it's like a, a treasure trove you can go down the disused railway line and just find so much stuff sometimes it's not you're not as lucky or things go against you but um, I think it's still worth recording it's still it's still worth documenting that journey and um, you know it's uh it's quite a it's got quite a lot of history quite a lot of things probably that we've not managed to discover but will be here but for whatever reason we've just not found much so uh like i say thanks again um and keep a, an eye out for future videos i've got a lot of plans coming up for this autumn and winter uh take care and i'll see you soon mm -hmm.